Jody Holland here with the Psyche of Success video blog. We are on the book Hypnotic Selling, Chapter 6. Let's face it. So we're going to be talking today about the structure of the face and how that changes the way that you would communicate with an individual. Not changes the way you close them, but changes the way that you communicate with them. By the way, if you haven't subscribed to the video blog, make sure you do so. Follow me on Twitter at Jody and Holland. Look for me on Facebook, Jody Holland Training and Speaking, and I can't wait to connect with you online as well as offline. So when we talk about facing the facts of how we interact with people, we're going through the structure of the face and how it ties to the psychology of a person. We're trying to change the way that we present and connect with them so that they're the most comfortable and so that they have the opportunity to buy from us instead of us selling to them. The forehead tells us the way that they make decisions. People make decisions either with logic or emotion. Side profile, right there, if it's flat, you're gonna look for logical ways to present to them. Think about this from the car business. Those are the people that care more about gas mileage than the people who have the round forehead. Round forehead, they care about how freaking cool they look sitting in that car. It's more of an emotional appeal for the, the rounded foreheads. Then you're gonna look at the eyebrows. Person who has flat eyebrows, it's task before relationship. A person with rounded eyebrows, it's relationship before task. And a person who has what looks like a rooftop, if it's on the left, that means that they like to keep things in control in their personal life. If it's on the right, that means that they like to keep things under control in their professional life. Now, if you're selling to a couple, for example, and I don't care what you're selling, but if you're selling to a couple, the one that has the arched eyebrow has to have control in the situation. You'll know how to move your presentation based on what the eyebrow structure is. Another interesting aspect of the eyebrows is if you have one eyebrow higher than the other, that means they have higher standards on that side of their life. Professional life on the right, personal life on the left. So the people that have the higher standards when you're selling them something that is for them personally, if it's on the left, then you need to know that you've got to go into more detail and make sure that they understand that this is the quality that they're getting. Now, if it's on the right, if they're selling them something professionally, say training or something along those lines, like I would sell, right eyebrow is higher, make sure the standards are well represented and that it is above what anything else would be in that realm. You go a little bit lower, you want to look for do the eyebrows tuck under the brow ridge? If so, that means small filter between the brain and the mouth. A good approach is you look like a no-nonsense person who just tells it like it is. Well, I know that because that eyebrow is tucking under. You're then going to go a little bit lower and you're going to look at the nose. The nose, if it has a bump on the ridge of the nose, means they have a little bit of defensiveness. So make sure you don't push and you always give them options. If they have lines on the side of the nose, that means they're fiercely independent. And you want to really make sure that you say, hey, we've got A, B, or C. I don't want to tell you what to do. Which one is right for you? If they don't have those lines on the side of their nose, they're typically not as independent. They're a little more easily persuaded in one direction or another, and they'll look more outside of themselves to know what's right. You then want to look down a little bit further. If they have a little line right here on the chin, that means that they respond very well to verbal affirmation, which indicates that you should compliment them on something. That's what they're looking for. Man, when you sit in that car, you look good. Man, when you think about doing that, I'm really impressed with the way that you made a decision on that. You're doing great things to invest further in your future. Those kinds of compliments matter to people who have a line. No line don't need to compliment them. In fact, they'll wonder if you're just a snake oil salesperson if you start complimenting them if they don't have a line. Their chin is the next thing. The chin tells you how they judge themselves. If it's squared off, kind of comes down, think Captain America, that means they judge themselves based on what they accomplish or what their goals are. If it's rounded, that means they judge themselves based on what they believe other people think of them. If it's pointed, that means they judge themselves only based on what they think about themselves without regard to goals or without regard to other people. And then finally, the ears. The ears are really important in sales because it tells you language pattern. When you're structuring your message, you want to structure it for that person. Large ears that kind of stick out, that is an auditory processor. They need logic, they need sequence, they need it to make sense and be predictable. So when you're trying to sell to them, you're saying, 
okay, based on what you've described to me, step one would probably be this, step two would probably be this, step three would probably be this, but I'd like to know what questions you have so that we can talk through those. If it is inverted like that, so the inner ear ridge sticks out more than the outer ear ridge, they're kinesthetic. So you wanna make sure that when you're trying to talk to them about what they wanna buy, so well, how does that make you feel or what do you believe you should do next? So it's action and emotion type words that pull them in the right direction. Smaller ears, usually back towards the head a little bit, those are visual processors. You wanna be able to paint a word picture for that person. So imagine that you're in this car, imagine 20 years down the road, what do you want for your life? Those are the kind of things that you wanna put into their head because they create this mental imagery and then they can visualize or picture where they're going. Those are some of the basics. I have a course that goes really in depth into the face reading, I have a phenomenal keynote speech on how to read faces and how to understand and persuade people based on that. So if you're interested in booking me for that, definitely reach out. Follow me on Twitter at Jody N. Holland. Find me on Facebook, Jody Holland Training and Speaking. And for heaven's sake, subscribe to the video blog. We have amazing content we're pushing out every day. And let's face it, you know you want to grow. So I can't wait to see you on next week's episode. I'm Jody Holland with the Psyche of Success. We'll see you next time.